Today I'm going to show you how to get started using mBlock with the Sumo Robot League Robot Kits. I've done a search for make block mBlock and what we're looking for is mBlock 3. So I'm going to go ahead and click this software page on the mBlock website. It, this is a product for PCs. Uh, they do make something for apps. The extensions we've built work with mBlock 3, which is here on the right, and provide a nice way to program the Sumo Robot uh, using drag and drop, kind of the graphical. So you'll want to download that, and when it's done downloading, install it. I'm going to pause the video, finish the installation, and then take you from there. So here's the mBlock version 3. You'll notice it says down here based on Scratch 2.0 by MIT Lifelong Kindergarten Group. Uh, Scratch is an open source project MIT developed. Um, MakeBlock took that and then built into it a really nice Arduino interface. So there's some pictures where they're showing you, hey, we can do robots. We can actually create Arduino code. And that's why we're here today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the extension that will make mBlock work with the Sumo robot. You notice there's a list of them down here. Uh, you can just simply click Arduino and start using the Arduino abilities, but you'll be pretty limited. So go to Manage Extensions. We're going to do a search for Sumo. And you'll notice there's a red version and a black. Red is for the original MRK1, uh, which was a soldered kit where you had to solder the pieces together. The MRK2 is our solderless kit. It has a black circuit board. We're going to click Download on the appropriate one for our robot. And then go back over to extensions, make sure it's checked, and we're going to uncheck the make block extension. That's step one. There are three other steps. So we're going to select the appropriate board, which is an Arduino Uno, though we discovered on Ubuntu 16.04, you're going to have to select the ME Uno Shield. We then plug in the robot to the computer via USB cable and go to connect, select serial port so that the computer can talk to the robot. And then the last step is to go select the Arduino mode which is found in edit. Now I'll show you these three steps. So at the top we have boards we're going to go select Arduino Uno. So if you have the mBlock installed on Ubuntu, we've tested it with 16.04, you will need to select the ME Uno Shield. Otherwise things don't work. There's some bug in the Linux version. So we select the board. The next step was to connect. And it's a serial port. There should be a number here. If it says no serial port, make sure you have the USB cable securely connected to the robot and plugged into a USB port on your computer. Once you've managed to select a serial port, which is say COM3 or 4, something like that, then you are ready to go to edit and select Arduino mode, which you'll notice opens up here on the right actual Arduino code. The, the code specific to the Sumo Robot League kits is found under Robots. Arduino shows up first. But we need to scroll down and use this Sumo Robot League header because that will include a library made specifically for the Sumo Robot. Initialize that robot that library and then do all the pin setup 
from that library. Then we can start programming. We've got the ability to flip the motor directions if some, for some reason they're going backwards or if it ends up turning when it should be going forward that can all be corrected here. Now about M block, you can click the little triangle and get a drop down of options in a place like this circle you can click on it to be able to type you can also drag into that circle something that is an oval shape like the ultrasonic sensor distance or the line sensor value from the left side. See how that snapped in there? There are other shapes. You'll notice here this wait until command has this polygon shape which matches with object within 35 centimeters. And of course we can change that to be something like object within 10 or 11 centimeters, whatever we like. When you've, you're done building your code, you're going to click Upload to Arduino. You'll see the code compile in this area down here, and then it will read and write and read again. At that point, your robot should be doing whatever you programmed it to do here in mBlock using their nice graphical programming tools. Enjoy!